Hello everyone. I am Dr. Kalyan. I am a senior neurosurgeon and spine surgeon from Hyderabad. I am specially trained in keyhole spine surgeries and keyhole skull base surgeries or endoscopic spine surgeries and endoscopic skull base surgeries. I have extensive experience in dealing with various conditions of spine and brain and also have extensive experience in dealing with brain tumors which are both malignant and benign. In this series I'll be trying to explain you the common condition which my patients keep on asking what is keyhole spine surgery or endoscopic spine surgery or minimal invasive spine surgery as the technical advances take place in every field there has been a significant technical advances in the field of spine surgery and also in the brain surgery previously when we have to operate upon a disease we had to make a big incision on the skin separate the muscles remove a lot of the bone and cure the condition so this big incision on the skin separating the muscles removing a significant part of the bone is a collateral damage which we cause to the person while dealing the disease so this collateral damage causes a lot of complications like this causes new back pain this leads to a loss of uh, lot of blood loss during the surgery this increases the amount of pain the patient is going to suffer after the surgery in the immediate post operative period so this causes a prolonged period of suffering and also it increases the operative strain so to overcome this collateral damage of an open surgery what has been designed and what has become very famous of the last few years is is the endoscopic spine surgery or keyhole spine surgery or minimally invasive spine surgery so first let us understand what is the difference between a minimal invasive spine surgery or keyhole spine surgery and an open spine surgery in keyhole spine surgery as the name implies the access to the pathology to the disease is by a small skin incision in majority of the cases the skin incision is less than 1 cm and also while going to the disease going to the pathology we use specialized equipments which do not damage the muscle which do not damage the bone so we reach the disease as a pathology which we have to remove by equipments without damaging the skin without damaging muscle without damaging the bone so this causes very little collateral damage to the body this translates into less post operative pain literally minimal bleeding and no bleeding during surgery and the patient will be back to his routine work very quickly sometimes as quickly as within a day the patient is back to the work secondly not just the collateral damage when we reach the pathology the disease the success of any surgery whether it's open surgery or a minimal invasive or keyhole surgery depends on two parameters one the illumination that is how brightly i am able to see the disease secondly the magnification that is the human nerves human spinal cord are very thin some of the nerves are as thin as your hair so the success depends upon how magnified i am going to see this one in keyhole spine surgery we use a special equipment called an endoscope this serves the purpose of illumination it gives the it illuminates the disease or the pathology from a very near distance so the uh, structures of interest are seen with a lot of illumination secondly it magnifies the image by 5 times 10 times 20 times so the small hair like structure that is in nerves are seen as big as your pen as thick as your pen so when the surgeon is able to see the disease with a bright illumination with a large magnification is capacity or capability of removing the disease without causing harm to the normal nerves increases so the keyhole spine surgery is more safe it becomes more safer and more effective than an open surgery without magnification and illumination and third one this keyhole spine surgery requires special training and special expertise and special 
instruments these instruments and the expertise and training brings out outcomes which are much better than the open spine surgery